let's continue reshaping the tail. So rotate the perspective view and click the show and result toggle and go to the polygon level, select these polygons in the top view as shown and then um, click the slice plane button and click the rotate tool, make sure that the angle stamp toggle is on and then rotate it uh, 90 degrees and then click the select and move tool and move it in order to slice the tail okay click the slice button and then deactivate the slice plane go to the vertex level select the vertices shown in the top view and click show and result and then click the scale tool and scale them Oops, as shown and then click the move and you can move them go ahead and scale the vertices shown till you are satisfied with the tail I think it's okay now we can even go to the turbo smooth and increase the iteration to 2 Okay, let's continue. Go back to the vertex level and select this vertex and then click the, the setting next to chamfer and in the chamfer amount type 0.2 click OK. We need more detail in the head area so um, go to the polygon level Click the show and result to turn it off. Make sure that you are in the polygon level. Select these polygons. Click the slice plane. Move the slice plane in the top view. Here. And then click slice. Move the slice plane. We want to make three slices actually. Click here and make another slice and then move it in the X axis to make the third slice and then deactivate the slice plane. Go to the vertex level. Oops. Go to the select and move tool. Select these vertices too, move them and then scale them. Okay, now we want to create the eye, so go to the polygon level, select the polygon shown here, and then in the left view select the opposite polygon there by control key on your keyboard. Click the setting next to bevel, click the group, point 0.2, and in the outline amount minus 0.1 and then click the apply click minus 0.07 in the height minus 0.05 in the outline amount click OK now we have just created the eye Okay, go to the edge level. Actually, you want to continue reshaping the head area. And then select in the front view. Select this edge. Maybe it's better to deactivate the show and result. And then click the loop button to expand the selection. Again, show and result. Click the select and move tool. And just move it. Click the show and result to deactivate it. Click this edge and then click 
loop and again show end result and move it again select this edge and then move it select these edges and scale them okay back to the show and result and click this edge click the loop button and show and result once again just move it uh, okay now let's um, create the material so go up in the stack and open the material editor in the first slot name the material fish okay now change the specular color to yellow we want to make it shiny so change the values of the specular level and glossiness assign this material to our fish okay let's make the material of the eye so go to the next slot and name it dark eyes and go to the diffuse and change it to black go to the polygon level we have already selected the polygons of the eyes previously all you have to do just click the assign button okay back okay it turned dark if you want to see the whole material of the fish so go to a free slot click the pick material from object button click the fish to make its material current in the material sample slot you'll find that you have a multi sub object material which contains the fish material which is the gray material and the dark eyes material which is the black material in its eyes change the name of this material to uh, fish total okay close the material editor rename the cylinder fish go to the file save and save your file as fish.max save button okay in this tutorial you learned how to convert an object to an editable poly and go through the various levels of the editable poly to manipulate the object also we learned to apply the turbo smooth modifier which smooths the geometry to create organic objects that's all for this tutorial